Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Yes, I'm doing another video on the same day. Unlike me, I'm usually not that motivated to do too many videos, but I'm really excited about this finished project that I want to share with you. So I keep saying I am knitting on big projects and this is one of them. So shall I share it with you? Let's get started. My advent project for 2023, which I started on the 1st of December, I decided to do a blanket. The pattern I'd actually bought for 2024 for a 100 day project. And um, it probably would have been good for a 100 day project. So I started at 1st of December and I officially finished it on the 28th of February, which includes two nights of sewing in ends. So the pattern, if you were following me when I first started it, was the Stephen West Rain and Shine Blanket. A knitted blanket. Yes, I knitted a blanket. It's a paid-for pattern. Um, I'll put a link to it on Ravelry. I think that's where I bought it. Um, you can buy it from West Knits. I do maybe I bought it from West Nets. I don't know I'll try and put both links and that's another picture where he shows you the scraps so the idea being that it's eight ply and you use two four ply together to get the eight ply or two fingering to get the DK weight whatever you want to call it and you knit you drop one plot one color pick up it put in a new color continue drop the old color and fade knit it I didn't quite do it like him in sections. I just used up all my 20 and 25 gram minis that I had, which were mounting up. So, do you want to see it? I really like it. I'm so glad I persevered and finished it and I just didn't leave it as a whip. So, I'm trying to show you where I finished. Ta -da! There you go. That is my rain and shine blanket that I have made. It is huge in the sense it's still only a throw. It's not a full size blanket. It's 45 inches wide, 50 inches long, which is what I wanted. I didn't do the small and I didn't do the large as according to his pattern. I sort of picked somewhere in between. This is a throw for me to sit on the bed with. Um, I used to go in Zoom rooms, a Zoom room, Sharon's Zoom room, but I've lost all the details and she's since passed over into a better place. Um, I don't know, maybe you should try and reach out and find a Zoom room. Because I used to like that sometimes when I'd wake up early, I could lay on the um, bed and thing and go and make coffee and I could have a rug over my legs and chat on the Zoom. Anyway, that's what it's for. It's for me to throw over me whenever I feel like it. You can see all the minis. See, I didn't change very much here. I think what you'll find is the beginning. I'm trying to find the beginning. This way. This way. This was the beginning. I did. I started out until I grew it to the size I wanted like Stephen West pattern and then I just continued changing the yarns according to what I had and it was mainly on the decrease side that they were my combinations as in they are just if I thought the color would flow or mix that was the next color I used don't ask me how many colors don't ask me how much yarn uh, how many minis but all I know is I do have some scraps left. I have this bag of 25 or four ply minis left, a few scraps. I'll have to come up with a scrap project that uses small bits of yarn. Please make a suggestion in the comments below. Look, this pattern, it, I can't remember what I paid. But it's definitely worth it. It's full of detail and videos to help. If you're an advanced beginner knitter and want to try a bit more challenging project, do this. You could do it. 
because his guidance with his detail and his pattern and his videos, you'll get there. Because I'm not that great a knitter, but I do love it. I, it was as we were decreasing, I was getting tired of doing it. And the reason it probably took me as long as it did, don't forget, I had flooding in December and I didn't do a lot of crafting because I had like three days with no power, five days with no internet and I had other things to take care of. So please check out the pattern, definitely worth it. You don't have to use minis, you can use any yarn. He tells you in the pattern and then you can work out for yourself how you're going to combine it. You can make smaller, you can make bigger, it's just so easy and I like the eye cord edging so I don't have to put a border on it when I finish. Look, do I like this pattern? Yes. Do I like my finished blanket? Most definitely. I am so proud of finishing it. Pat myself on the back. Um, I hope you like it. There will be some photos at the end from like when I started it and the finished um, look of it. Hopefully, they're, you know, I'm not a photographer. They're There'll be okay photos for you to check out. Anyway, guys, that is my second video today. My finished knitted object that, yes, I wasn't making it up. I was knitting a big project. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, leave a comment. Let me know what I can make with tiny little scraps. There's a few big balls left, but a lot of little scraps. Okay, until next time, stay safe. Stay well and make sure you check out Stephen West patterns if you're a knitter. They are definitely worth it and good value for money. Bye for now.